Hello guys, it's Robert here and welcome to another video today. I'm going to be talking about my net worth and breaking it down a little bit in this video for you guys. And the reason why I'm doing this video today is just to be a little bit transparent with you guys because this is a personal finance channel. I talk about stocks, I talk about personal finance, I talk about economics. So I want to be a little bit transparent with you guys and show you what my net worth is composed of. So let's get into it. Now I do want to say for the record, my net worth is not $100,000. I'm not going to show my actual net worth because this is the internet. It's like the internet is so freaking crazy. I'm not going to show it. So what I'm pretty much showing is the overall breakdown of my net worth, what my net worth is comprised of for terms of like investments, etc, etc. So I'm obviously not going to say the number, but I'm pretty much rounding it all within $100,000. So I can give you guys an exact breakdown by percentage of what my net worth is comprised of. So starting off with cash on hand, this is pretty much stuff that's in my checking account, saving account, if I have any cash on me at home. So it's not really a big percentage of my net worth. I don't have a fully funded emergency fund, which is what I obviously talk about, but I live with my parents. So pretty much I have very low needs. I don't have any expenses except for gas if I do stuff, you know, by myself. This is why I say on this channel that everybody's scenario is a little bit different. So I don't really need to save up for a six month emergency fund yet. I am going to be working to towards it because you know I could be moving out soon etc etc who knows exactly when that's going to happen but I don't really have any mandatory bills so I don't really need a lot of cash on hand to you know pretty much cover something that's not really existent because I have no bills except for gas so that's why the majority of my money is investments as you can currently see so looking at my investments it takes up 77.27 percent of my overall net worth so the majority of this pretty much comprises of my tax advantage account so my Roth IRA 401k so of my overall investments about 90 percent of that is in the uh, overall market and then the rest of that is individual stock picks but those are stock picks that I made like a while ago maybe like 2021 and i'm still holding those securities so i never bought an individual stock probably since june of 2021 i think that was the last time i bought an individual stock ever since then it's been all vt and uh, i don't think i'm ever going to buy an individual stock again there is the possibility that i'm obviously going to one day i'm not going to obviously rule that out but the chances of that happening are very 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 low the only way is that there's something like absolutely wild like to be honest i'm kind of kicking myself about facebook being at 90 dollars and not buying it because i did say on this channel when i did a facebook analysis that if they did drop like another 50 percent 40 percent and like went below 100 that I was going to go all in. Not exactly, but I was going to put a lot of money into it. And it did happen and I just didn't do it. I don't know what the fudge I was doing. I would literally be up like 500% on that position right now. I'm so stupid for doing that and I'm still kicking myself for it. But what can you fracking do? And looking at the next portion of my net worth, it is gold and overall precious metals. There is way more gold than I do own silver. And it does take up 11.11% of my net worth, which is a lot. And the reason why is because it was a lot lower, but I did buy some gold recently. And I'm going to explain that in my next video as to why. Because of that, I had to put a deposit in, you know, buy some precious metals. So that pretty much did take up a bigger portion of my net worth. It was below 10. I think it was around like eight or 9%, give or take. So two percentage points is obviously not that big of a jump, but I don't want it to be more than 10% of my overall net worth. Probably like the lower, the better. It's not that I hate gold and silver. I do talk about it a lot on this channel, but you want to be way more in equities than you are in uh, precious metals. Because like I do say on this channel, it's not an investment. It's just a store of value. So because of my age and everything, I am very young. I should be in majority equities, which is what I'm trying to do. Obviously, I'm at 77%. I'm not going to be buying gold or silver anytime soon. So from now, as my net worth increases, Increases, the uh, gold and precious metals portion is going to be a smaller portion of my net worth. And the next portion of my net worth is my pension. I do put quotations around that because I don't really think of it as a pension. There's pretty much this matching program at my uh, company. This is like 100% taxable and everything. It's not in a tax advantage account. So I'm definitely not going to categorize that as an actual pension because I'm not going to rely on that on my retirement. I might liquidate it one day, maybe if I leave the job, etc, etc. It takes up 1.64% of my net worth. So not that much overall. And the next thing I want to talk about is the clown portion of my net worth. So a lot of people might be wondering this whole time, like what the hell does that really comprise of. So in 2020, I did buy two Spider-Man comic books. So I'm going to go grab them. So the two comic books that I did buy is this first one here. It's Miles Morales Ultimate Fallout. You're not really going to see it because of the uh, light glare. Pretty much this is just the uh, first appearance of Miles Morales. It's a uh, CGC 9.6. So the straight up reason why I bought this was because it was the first appearance of Miles Morales in comics. So pretty much as uh, Miles Morales is going to be getting more movies or video games, etc, etc. I did buy it as an investment at the time. But now as a more financial leader and everything, this is just a pure speculation. It is not an investment at all. If it goes on value to be honest i wouldn't really be that mad because it is pretty sick to own to be honest i do think it's going to go up in the future because of overall scarcity and everything maybe by the time i'm 60 it'll be worth like quadruple what i bought it but i'm not going to categorize this as an investment at all that's pretty much why i put clownery in the uh, overall thing that you're seeing and the next comic that i did buy was a 9.4 cgc of uh, spider-man right here this is spider-man number 252 this is pretty much the uh, first appearance of the symbiote suit so i did buy that in 2020 as well pretty much it was the first appearance of the symbiote suit so i did think of it as an investment but i do know now that it's not investment it is pure speculation and to be honest it is really cool to own so like i said i wouldn't really be that mad if it did go down in value and the reason why i'm adding them in this video is because they are actually valuable that's why i'm putting it as a portion of my net worth because i could convert it into cash already 
guys that's basically going to be the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like down below i wanted to be a little bit transparent with you guys today so hopefully you guys are appreciative of that and drop a like down below for the love of god please and a lot of you guys are not subscribed so please subscribe down below you know do me a solid and you're watching my videos anyway i'm trying to add as much value as possible to you guys so please like and subscribe guys and i'll see you guys in the next video